Hi guys, this is Luan Skaggs and welcome to the channel. Now to get started, we'll be using these ping pong balls that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. Now we need lots of these balls. Now we'll be making some holes in the ping pong balls so that we could pour in concrete. Now we need to have sharp blades for this, so I broke off the top of the blade so that I could have a sharp blade. Now we don't want to push into the ball like this, we want to hold the blade at an angle so it would be much easier to cut the ping pong balls. Now if this is your first time here, consider subscribing and press the bell icon so you could be notified whenever I upload a new video. Now I picked up these from the Dollar Tree, but the bag that came with it was not that strong, so I'll be using these bags that I picked up from on Amazon. Now to put them together, we want to put the bag on the inside piece and measure how much we need. We want to have the bag on the treads so that when we screw on the cap, it will be caught between the treads and not come out. Now we'll mix up some concrete and this is the consistency we're looking for. We want to make sure that it's able to go through the hole. Now we'll put in a few spoonful first so that we make sure that there is no air bubbles. Then we could pour in the rest of the concrete. Now after we are finished with all of that, this is how easy it is to fill the ping pong balls with concrete. Now if you don't have the piping tools, you could use the bag like this. Just pour the concrete in the bag, cut off the tip and use it like this. Now we'll be using these packages that came with the ping pong balls. We'll be filling them with concrete and this will start to give us the wrong shape that we need so that we wouldn't have to use so much ping pong balls. Now once we have the concrete in our ping pong balls dry, we would mix up some concrete and this is the consistency we are looking for. Now we'll spread a layer of concrete on a plastic bag or something that would protect our surface. Now we'll place the cut side of the ping pong balls into the concrete and this would form the base of our side table. We are using concrete in these balls because we want our base to be very strong. Now in this video I made two of these but you only need one of these and you'll see what I mean later on in the video. Now once they are dry we are going to be mixing up some more concrete and this is the texture that I want this concrete to be. Because I'll be using some of this shredded paper in the concrete to make it stronger. Now the paper shredder that I use would be linked in the description down below. Now I'll put in a handful at a time and mix it until I get this consistency. Now I picked up this wooden dowel from Walmart and I cut it to 25 inches. And this is what we'll be using in the center of our side table. Now we'll pack the concrete and paper mixture all along the base and up the wooden dowel so that we have all the strength that we need for our side table. Now this is the reason why I said we didn't need to have two of these concrete base because this would be covered up with concrete so we only need to have it for the top. Now to keep the dowel in place while the concrete dries, you may have to lean it up against a chair or something so that it could dry straight. Now we'll finish filling up the base with concrete and carry it all the way to the top. Now we will take the half of the concrete balls and stick them in the concrete before it dries. Now we want to take the ping pong balls with the concrete that we made for the top and we score the bottom of the concrete so that the concrete that we are going to put would adhere to the concrete that we already have. Now to fill the top here with concrete, we'll turn the whole thing upside down and then we could fill the top of the side table with concrete. Now we will take our half of balls of concrete and stick them into the wet concrete and let it dry. Now to let it dry, we would have it lean up against a chair or something until it's dried. Now once it's dry, we would take our E6000 along with our hot glue and glue our half of concrete balls all the way down the base of our side table. Now 
Now we will start using our ping pong balls to cover up all the areas that we don't want showing. Now the reason we use the half of concrete balls besides just giving it strength is that now looking through the ping pong balls we could see wrong shape already shaped in the middle. So that would help with us not using so much ping pong balls. Now after all my careful planning I still needed a lot more ping pong balls. So I ordered these from on Amazon and they are cheaper and a lot stronger. Now when you press in to the ball from the Dollar Tree, this is what happens. Now this is what happens when you press in to the ball from on Amazon. It is much more firm and you could see me doing the two side by side, just how different they are. So the quality is vastly superior on the Amazon ball versus the Dollar Tree ball. And it came out to be a lot cheaper as well. So this is one of the rare times where it was cheaper to get the ball from an Amazon and you get more. So it's not always cheaper at the Dollar Tree. Now before I finish putting on the ping pong balls, I want to put something in the bottom so that it wouldn't scratch the floor. Now it's very heavy because it's all concrete. I want to use E6000 because we want it to be strong and not come out. Spread it all over to keep the fabric in place. And I'll actually glue it up inside here so that it wouldn't be able to come out. And glue the ping pong balls over it. That would make sure that it's very secure. I don't want it to be raising up in the future. Now this fabric has some stretch to it. If your fabric didn't have stretch, you might have want to clip the pieces, but this have enough stretch that I don't need to do that. Now I'll do this all the way around and then continue gluing the ping pong ball. So this would be the bottom nice and smooth so that it wouldn't damage our floors or anything like that. Now we'll continue gluing the ping pong balls onto the fabric and onto the concrete. And we'll cover up all the places that we don't want showing. Now you will keep gluing on your ping pong balls until you're happy with the shape that you want. Now I kept gluing on the ping pong balls and then I spray painted it with this gold rustoleum metallic spray paint. Now once I was done this is how it came out. Now for the top of the table I used this glass that I picked up from an Amazon and it's very heavy so I had no need to glue it down. I just rest it on the top of the table. Now if you have small kids you may want to glue down yours but since I don't have small kids this works fine for me. Now guys I really like the way that this side table turned out and you could make it in silver, you could make it in gold, you could make it in whatever color you choose and I would really love to hear from you guys in the comment section down below if this is something that you like and if it's something that you'd like to try out. So thanks for taking the time out to watch this video. You have a blessed and awesome day. Now if you like this video, you may also like these as well. And don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. See you in the next one.